Hello and welcome to the Gloucester Folk Trail. I'm Danny Hammond, I'm one of the events organisers and I'm really glad that we're able to uh, bring the Folk Trail to you all online this year. We've actually really been inspired by you lot, um, the audience, the musicians, everybody that's come together, embraced technology over the last year and kept things going and kept spirits high during the pandemic. Music really is a brilliant thing to have around at this time. In this time of year, we'd normally be sharing it all uh, over the weekend. And it's good that we can still do that. Now we've got 10 hours of music queued up. Um, we have all sorts of performers that you may have seen on Folk Trails Past and a few new faces. Um, so tune in, you can watch it all if you're, well, you're watching it now, either on Facebook or YouTube, tell your friends. It's on social media, share it, get it out there. Um, I hope to see many of you over the course of the weekend, virtually, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the music. Good morning. We are Spring Onions, a subset of the Cayley band That's A Lot. We've tried to keep our tunes alive and kicking during lockdown and also stepped outside the regular session tune repertoire. We'll start with two tunes we regularly play in sessions and for dancing. Do join in and play or dance, which is a possible advantage to doing online concerts. 
Uh, here are Roman Wall and Kuriakin. <laughs> Carry on now, it's gently, something a bit gentler. We're going to do a couple of Welsh waltzes for you. You know them, probably know them well. The first one's a Morris Tune Suite, Jenny Jones, and the second one isn't.
uh, changing the tempo a bit. I think we'll do, we'll do a couple of hornpipes now. First one's called Jackie Tar, which is a version of the cuckoo's nest, so somebody tells me. And the second one is Sportsman's Hornpipe. Right. <laughs> change your tempo yet again this time we're gonna have a few polkas for you this time first one is written by a friend of mine from somewhere up north called John Looms he's played in numerous bands he plays Hurdy Gurdy with uh, a band called Heretic who we stole this next tune from he also uh, he's a luthier as well makes wonderful guitars mandolins things like that anyway the first tune is called La Pipistrelle dans la Confiture known by us to us as the Vat because that's easier to say. And the second one is our version of um, Jenny Lind. Both polkas, you can have a dance if you like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is that actually recording? Yeah, that seems oh, to be Oh, it is. It's at the top. Now. Okay. Our next tune is Josephine's Waltz. It was written by the guitar player in the Swedish group Vassen. It's a beautiful tune. <laughs> Good tune, Matt. Yeah. Not as easy one for me, I don't have to play any notes. <laughs> right, going back to our comfort zone again now with a couple of we off, often play around the sessions in Gloucester and area. A couple of polkas go by the name of Down the Road and In the Toy Shop. <laughs> Thank you. 
next tune is the one that made me want to learn the melodeon. I haven't quite arrived there yet. It was written by Lawrence Wright, who lives in Cheltenham, and I really hope he likes this rendition. It's called Smirnoff. <laughs> June. Now we're going to do one by that well-known singer, songwriter and clog dancer from Wales, Hugh Williams. He used to knock out a tune called Pterodactyl Two-Step on his melodeon. So we're going to attempt it now. to the end with our last set thank you for listening hope you found something that has got your toes tapping and hope that when all this is over we can see you out there again and maybe play with our full Kaylee band that's a lot and get your toes really tapping right. here are two reels uh, the rose tree and bottom of the punch bowl <laughs> I'll cut that bit out. You've just got in too quick for me. I thought you were rushing me again. Well, you started. You started me. You did me. two notes and I thought, oh. <laughs> right, right, go on. Now.
Good night. night.
Greetings, Gloucester Folk Trail Riders. We are the Lonesome Pines, and we're going to play some old-timey country music for you from the heart of um, True West, i.e. Uh, Gloucester. Um, and we'd like to tell you about uh, our favourite cafe in Gloucester before we start, which is Pepper's Cafe in Westgate Street. Uh, well, in Bull Lane, just off Westgate Street. It's vegetarian friendly. It's um, got a courtyard. It has live music. It has lovely food. The people who run it are really nice. So a big shout out to Toby and Anne. They look after their musicians and they feed everybody royally. So if you're in Gloucester, we thoroughly recommend that you go and pay them a visit once the pandemic is over, obviously. Otherwise, we'll all die. Okay, we're going to play some music now, starting with a number by Mr. Hank Williams. Gloucester boy, Long Levens, little known fact. One, two, three, four. <laughs> the Atlantic and got a bit strange. It's called Silver Dagger. One, two, three. Oh, don't sing love songs, you'll wake my mother. She's sleeping here down by my side. And in her right hand, a silver dagger. She says that I can't be your bride. All men are false, says my mother. They'll tell you wicked loving lies. And in the next breath, they'll call another. They'll leave you where the sun does rise. My daddy is a handsome devil. He has a train. Does dangle, some of the mates he's wooed and Silver dagger, she says that I can't be your bride. 
next one is from the singing of the Carter family, the country royalty, and it's called Angel Band. It's a waltz. And it's a waltz, so not one, two, three, four this time. One, two, three.
Adultery, death, and uh, drunkenness with shopping. This is a this is a song about uh, supermarkets and other things. And because because it's such country, it's a song about life, isn't life it? Life and, <laughs> yeah. and, and sex and death. But, uh, and for this one, Mr. Hoyle will be playing slide guitar because that's how he rolls in the supermarket. It's also a waltz. One, two, three. It was drink the bar, dry night in the end of August. And the room was beginning to spin. I knew it was time for me to chicken out.
some folks want a Waitrose in Gloucester But there's no way the council are helping them We've got all kinds of crap Like a pie in a bap And if you want pheasant patty You can go back to Chelsea Stop making it about 2010. The world spins backwards. They'll be building the Waitrose in Gloucester before we know where we are. Right, returning to uh, criminality of different sorts and bad behaviour. This one's kind of about prison, but not in a Johnny Cash way. Okay. One, two, three.
and bad behaviour, drinking and being put in prison. The Carter family have a solution. Everything will turn out all right in the end. Mm. Honest. I'm parting fools when I, I have to look more cheerful during <laughs> this song. No, no, I'm perfectly so just watch happy my with face. how miserable <laughs> you look. <laughs> Makes me smile. Yes. Anyway, one, two, three, four. <laughs> There's a dark and a troubled side of life There's a bright and a sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help you every day. It will brighten all the way if you keep on the sunny side of life. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help you every day. There you have it. This is the last number, unaccountably, and half an hour has passed. Um, and this is another Hank Williams, and uh, it's called uh, Move It On Over. One, two, three, four. Came in last night about She changed the locks on my front door. Now my key don't fit no more. So get it on over. Moved on over. Scoot it on over. Moved on over. Move over, over skinny dog. Cause fat dogs moving. The dog has here. 
some pints you've been wonderful if a bit quiet and um, enjoy the rest of the festival hopefully we'll see you this time next year face to face stay lucky bye, bye.
Well, we're delighted to be able to play for the Gloucester Folk Trail this year, supporting business in the area. And one of the businesses we are very appreciative of is the Soundhouse Music Shop. Would you believe we turned up to play uh, as buskers at the Gloucester Shopping Centre and uh, found we'd left our fiddle at home. So we went to the music shop and they kindly let us have one for the afternoon. So thank you very much, the Soundhouse. And thank you very much for inviting us again. Well, now we're going to play a Trowie tune. It's uh, one written, or believed to have been written by the Trowie, the little people who live underground on Shetland. It's called Gaster's Dream. And the next tune is called Kirkegat Noost, another tune we picked up whilst on Shetland. Fields of Dreams is a tune by Ian Thompson from Mull, who's known as the Singing Shepherd, and he wrote this, this song about Callum, who built a road on Rasse, and we're preceding it by a tune by Donald Shaw called Callum's Road. What it means. 
means to stand against bureaucracy and leave a lasting legacy. Breaking rock with brawn and strength, building walls with guile and sense to bring about that vision clear, a highland culture you hold so dear. You've built the road to your fields of dreams. Let the world know just what it means to stand against bureaucracy and leave a lasting legacy. To see the children out at play, the schools they open for another day. To see the men at work in fields, tilling the soil for crops to yield. You've built the road to your fields of dreams. Let the world know just what it means to stand against bureaucracy and leave a lasting legacy. play now an Irish tune, Shibeg Shimor.
Well, we've got this uh, tune from the singing of Jez Lowe, and it's, uh, he sings it in a genuine uh, Durham accent. Obviously, we don't. But here's a, a song about someone who went astray and ended up in Durham jail.
Well, we came across this tune on one of my visits to Shetland Island, written by one of the locals there, and this is a tune called Dreamers. <laughs> The next song is called Ripples in a Pond, which I wrote several years ago, and it's really just about the power of music to reach further than you think, maybe. Throw your pebble in the pond, watch the ripples break wide, one little pebble. the side one little lamp at the window just one in the darkness around one little note of singing but who will hear the sound look at the sadness look at the pain it's not how the world should be but how can no the sky above you, the dark in the depths of the night, the stars so few and so far apart, hardly shedding a light. Look at the world about you, the world that is yours and mine, occasional street lamps, solitary beams, see where the few Sadness, look at the pain, it's not how the world should be. But how can the ripples in a tiny pond? 
words to the world around We can throw our pebbles in the water And light our candle from yours But the songs that are sung as the music plays Are the songs that will end the wars Look at the sadness, look at the pain It's not how the world should be how can the ripples in a tiny pond possibly reach the sea? to sing i know what to play the songs that will make you free and the music will carve out a channel through from our tiny pond to the sea We finish our concert there with the tune we know as Norwegian Hymn. So thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll perhaps see you again one day. Bye. Bye.
Hi, I'm Jim Rowley. Welcome to my contribution to this year's Gloucester Folk Trail. I want to start by saying thank you to Danny and the team and to Gloucester Bid for getting something going in this strange time. And as you can see, I'm sat outside the Turk's Head Inn. Well, not really. But the Turk's Head Inn has been a great venue to play at. I played in the last couple of folk trails with the band I play in, Blackthorn Buskers, and we've had a great time. They've always been well received. It's such a shame to see this and the other venues all shut. But there we are. Hopefully we can all be back together soon. Here's my first song. It's called Big Night in a Small Town. Billy combs his hair, he straightens his tie, he meets Eddie on the corner, got that glint in his eye. They pick up Joe from the Garden of Delight, he only comes for the beers, he never stays for the fight. It's a big night in a small town, boys on the loose and the girls, all the girls, all the girls trying to tie them down. Gina's dressed to kill in her sister's shoes Mandy's on the rebound, she got nothing to lose Emma's got the vodka stashed in her bag She touches up a lippy and she stamps out a fag It's a big night in a small town Boys on the loose and the girls, all the girls, all the girls Trying to tie them down Jaeger bombs and chasers down at the pub Get an ear closing so it's on to a club Boys and girls they got the same thing on their mind Want a bit of how's your father, want a bit of bump and grind It's a big night in a small town Boys on the loose and the girls, all the girls, all the girls Trying to tie them down Billy and Gina standing freezing in the dark Eddie and Mandy do the dirty in the park Emma and Joe, they don't even speak Thinking about tomorrow and another working week It's been a big night in a small town Boys on the loose and the girls, all the girls, all the girls Trying to tie them down It's been a big night in a small town Boys on the loose and the girls, all the girls, all the girls trying to tie them down. <clears throat> this next song is a song about growing old. Uh, the thing is, when you start growing old, everyone around you is growing old, and uh, I suppose especially it applies to the generations above us. It's called Skin and Bone. So wrong, all you treasure it fades. 
made so fast the mind still willing but that flesh don't last I said I'd raise you up I said I'd raise you up I said I'd raise you up if you fell down to your knees but skin and bone have let me down skin and bone I am not ready I'm also a bit worried about singing this next song because it implies that the good women of Swansea are profligate with their affections. It's not really about that though. What it is about is my abject failure as a young man in all my attempts to have a misspent youth. This is called Swansea Girls. Swansea girls are easy, everybody knows. Swansea girls are choosy, so the story goes. Saturday night on Wine Street, in my Sunday best. Week in, week out, I put it. Swansea girls have heard it all before, the tired old refrain. Swansea girls know the score, they won't get fooled again. In the top rank and Cinderella's, trying to get some wild old song. All my best lines fell on deaf ears, I walked home. Swansea girls play fast and loose, gotta catch them while you can. Swansea girls play you for a fool, they leave you a broken man. And walking down the King's Way, I can't help but reminisce. And I wonder who they're kissing all those lips I never Swansea girls are easy, everybody knows. Swansea girls are choosy, so the story goes. Saturday night on Wine Street, in my Sunday best. Week in, week out, I lay. This next song is uh, about the power of a cup of tea, perhaps. I uh, read this story of uh, there were some far-right protesters outside a mosque, and what the people inside the mosque did, since it was a rainy day, was bring them out tea and biscuits. And I thought that was such a fantastic reaction. So uh, a little act of kindness like that, I think, can be, uh, can be tremendously powerful. This song is called A Stranger No More. Strangers 
lives in these parts. So I tell you what you do if you were smart, you'd best come in, pull up a chair. I'll take your coat, you can sit anywhere. Kettle's on, I'll close the door, have a cup of tea and be a stranger no more. My grandfather came here when times were hard, carrying only his tools and his union card. Now you you've seen and heard so tell me what you can tell me what you're able you'll find no judge sits at this table make yourself at home while I pour tell me a story and be a stranger no more We aren't so different, me and you. The frost chills our bones, the rain wets us through. We want best for our kids, we cry when they cry. We share the same dreams, like we share the same sky. So, as for those who divide and move, a cup of tea shows we're not A stranger no more. This next song's about a girl I used to know. I, uh, when I left South Wales and went to London to university, I met a girl. And it turned out we were from slightly different backgrounds. I was from a one-parent family in a council house in South Wales. Whereas her father was the British ambassador to some Middle Eastern country. It might surprise you to learn it didn't work out. It's called Know Your Limits. You're going to write a song about a girl who dumped you? It ought to be the blues. <laughs> Gotta know your limit, don't you punch above your weight. You gotta know your limit, don't punch above your weight. Listen to me, people, let me put you straight. Well, I knew a girl from the right side of the tracks. She looked just like an angel, they say, opposites attract. She was raised on milk and honey every day. I was raised on sack and helpings, a sweet F.A. You gotta know your limit, don't you punch above your weight. You gotta know your limit, don't punch above your weight. Was living on the welfare state. Well, she showed me to her friends, all they did was laugh. She showed me to her parents, and they prayed it wouldn't last. She showed me up in public, she brought tears to my eyes. Cause she was on the gravy train, she fed me humble pie. You gotta know your limit, don't you punch above your weight. You gotta know your limit, don't punch above your weight. You can satisfy her, she's gonna call you second rate. Well, my 
My mother always told me you gotta play the cards you dealt. Well, that girl held all the aces, I had to tighten my belt. I took her to fancy restaurants, bought her champagne and cake. But when I tried to give her sausage, she said she wanted steak. You gotta know your limit, don't you punch above your weight. You gotta know your limit, don't punch above your weight. One day you'll come home and you find another man eating from your plate. This next song is called Cash in Hand, or in brackets, Frank on the Lump. It's about my Uncle Frank. My Uncle Frank was the first in my family to come over to this country to work on the building trade in the 1950s, which was known as the Lump. And uh, it was hard work, and it was full of young Irishmen coming over who thought they would uh, make their fortune, and it, sadly it didn't work out, and it didn't work out for my Uncle Frank. So this is called Cash in Hand. Cash in hand then, no questions It's up till Friday so you can pay the rent and to mouth and no prospects But the pints in the crown on a Saturday were heaven sent Frank came to Crookerwood in 1952 Leaving Slaney show for good but the sign said no blacks, no dogs, no Irish Franklin where he stood for cash in hand and no questions A sub till Friday so you can pay the rent and to mouth and no prospects But the pints in the crown on a Saturday were heaven sent Frank in the freezing morning rain Trying to catch the gangers eye Stand him a double if you see him in the pub You gotta keep that bastard on your side A cash in hand and no questions A sub till Friday so you can pay the rent And to mouth and no prospect But the pints in the crown on a Saturday were heaven Carries the hard, he pours cement, spends his life in a mud-filled ditch. But Joe Coral and Arthur Guinness, they're the only ones getting rich on cash in hand and no questions. It's up till Friday so you can pay the rent and to mouth and no prospects. But the pints in the crown on a Saturday were heaven sent. The work gets harder as the years go by, thankless toil without respite. Till the aches and pains don't go away when he falls into bed at night. And always, always that dream of going home. Pockets full of money, build a house on Slaney Shore. Walk down the town, see your friends along the way. The alarm clock sounds, it's another working day for cash in hand and no questions. It's up till Friday so you can pay the rent to mouth and no prospect but the pints in the crown on a Saturday were heaven sent life on the lump demands a heavy price one day Frankie could pay no more 
So we carried his body across the sea, laid him to rest on Slaney's shore. Cash in hand and no prospects. Cash in hand and no prospects. Cash in hand and no prospects. Okay, time for my last one. Um, this one was written after I heard somebody on Thought for the Day say that he had no idea what heaven was like, but he rather hoped it was like ending up at the perfect English country pub at the end of a long, hard working day. Now that idea of heaven being a pub kind of appealed to me. Can't think why, but it took me some time, but after a while, that idea led to this song. It's called The Traveller's Rest. Sit in the barn of the traveler's rest when all my work is done. Gonna raise a glass of the very best and drink to the setting of the sun. When you come to the end of this dark and weary road, the light still shines through the gloom. Along a straight path through a narrow door, you'll find a pub with many. And there's always a seat by the fireside Always a friendly face Always someone wants to buy you a drink Ask you how you ran the race Gonna sit in the barn of the traveler's rest When all my work is done Gonna raise a glass of the very best And drink to the setting of the sun now the landlord, he's a fair old man, some might find him hard. But if you play by the rules and you stand your round, know that you'll never be barred. And he'll keep your glass filled to the brim, from barrels and never run dry. And he's already paid your bill, you'll never call close in time. Gonna sit in the barn of the traveler's rest when all my work is done. Gonna raise a glass of the very best and drink to the setting of the sun. Now I know there's friends and there's family who took that road before. Waiting to make me feel at home soon as I walk through the door and as for you good people here take your time and enjoy the ride I'll get them in there'll be a pint or two waiting for you when you arrive and we can sit in the bar of the traveler's rest when all our work is done we can raise a glass of the very best and drink to the setting of the sun. We can sit in the bar of the traveler's rest when all our work is done. We can raise a glass of the very best and drink to the setting of the sun. Well, thank you for listening, and uh, thanks again to Danny and the team and to Gloucester Bid for setting this up. Uh, it's been strange this year, but let's hope it won't be long before we can all see each other face to face again. Thank you again.
Hi, we're Candy and Tony of Incubus Succubus. Uh, we're a Gloucester-based band formed in 1989. Um, we're going to start with a song that's about Mayhill in the Forest of Dean. This is called Forest Hill. <laughs> This next one is a song that's called Dark Sisters. Dark sisters, dark sisters, dark sisters. 
this next one is um, it's about a place in Gloucestershire, um, a very well known beauty spot uh, that's managed by Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust and it's called Barrow Wake.
because we like Barrowick so much, this one's called A Return to Barrowick. <laughs> really of the the River Southern and particularly as she reaches uh, the estuary and becomes tidal and you have the, uh, the seven bore, that strong force coming up the river which is uh, quite a sight to behold and this one is a celebration to the goddess of the River Southern it's Sabrina <laughs>
Okay, this is um, our last one, and uh, this is a song of ours that goes back to 1994, and this one's called Witches. <laughs> to be part of Gloucester Folk Trail this year and hope to see you at future ones when we can all get together and dance in the streets and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the music and thanks again for joining us. Blessed be.
No meet, no part, no meet again. Bye. Bye.
Well, good afternoon. Um, my name's Sid, and uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, playing on the folk trail, Gloucester Folk Trail again, with um, the support of Gloucester Bid. And uh, good work by Danny Hammond behind the scenes and the lads uh, doing the technical stuff. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. So we'll play a few songs and uh, have a drink and a bit of fun. Let's go to the Taverns of Gloucester. <laughs> I came home to Gloucester after sailing seven seas. My sweetheart, she was waiting on the ducks for me. But she was just waiting in her backpack by her side. She said that she was leaving me, I was hit by a railroad side. Now I drink in the towns of Gloucester, much more life. Now I drink in the towns of Gloucester to clear my mind. Taylor, he had courted her when I was far away. She stuck the knife in deep, you see, they set their wedding day. But I won't sigh and I won't cry to say this life for me. Bought the next ship from the ducks and head back out to sea. Now I drink in the town of Gloucester on Brown Hill. Now I drink in the town of Gloucester ready to sell. Hey! Well, I came home to Gloucester, I was staying in the seven seas. My sweetheart, she was waiting on the ducks for me. But she wasn't waving, her back stacked by her side. She said that she was leaving me, and I was hit by a railroad side. Now I drink in the town of Gloucester, ready to sail. Now I drink in the town of Gloucester, on Brian Hill. Hey! Now I drink in the town of Gloucester, ready to sell. Hey! Now I drink in the town of Gloucester, I drink in the town of Gloucester, I drink in the town of Gloucester, I'm proud now. It's going to be hard to say thank you, because normally people clapping, I've just got a plant pot there, and so I don't know all that rubbish, there's cards over there. And I, so it's, if I say thank you, Make sure to give you a round of applause wherever you are in the world. <laughs> it's very surreal. Um, one of the places I mentioned that I do play on the folk train is a uh, small bar, I'm reputedly Gloucester's smallest bar, I think, is Angie's Bar. I play it, uh, well, I played the last four or five years, whatever it was, on this. And um, it's a great little place. And uh, Fred the Landlord is a smashing guy. He, he's worth his money. If you ever get a chance to, uh, pop in there too and uh, it's different it's, it's cool and it's laid back and as I said Fred's a great, great guy Angie's Bar I think it's Bull Street somewhere like that so for small anyway anyway Angie's Bar is a place to go very uh, bohemian I'm talking to things like that I've got a song about the Strand kind of French feel and this reminds me a bit of uh, Fred in Angie's Bar so it's called the Strand <laughs> Smart and oh so chic. Sense of style, she's so unique. She tends cigarettes, a favorite brand. The girl who walks the strap. Playful smile on her face. Bags of air and lots of grace. She's petite, but oh so grand. The girl who walks the strap. Picture pain her drink, mind and body so in sync, nobody knows her at first hand, girl who walks the strand. All right. It's a blusher on her face, always first in the fashion race. I'll always be at her command, the girl who walks the strap. Big champagne is her drink, mind and body, soul, and 
see. Nobody knows a rat first hand. Girl who walks the strand. All right. So we've got to bit know about it as well. Well, if you're and Phoebe are watching this, this cold, blustery day, well, what a better place to do? Just sit in your lounge and watch great, well, artists on telly or on your phone or whatever you want. It's fantastic. Can't miss gigging. It's hard. It's very hard for us musicians out there. You know? Almost a year now, isn't it? So anyway, with that in mind, <laughs> I was hoping to get away on holiday this year or next year. This is remember what it... Uh, what it used to be like. This is a song called Sunset Beach. Thanks to my cousin's John's favourite. And um, it's basically an old sportsman, but it can apply to lockdown and with the hope of getting away sometime soon. So it's called Sunset Beach. <laughs> Take me down to the beach today. Wanna be a castaway? Take me down to the beach today. Yeah, I know that my legs are aching. Wanna see the rollers breaking? Take me down to the beach today. Supporting a group that's been touring this part of the uh, world, the Billy B Band, and the great musicians. And uh, a friend of mine, Stevie Kent, who would be playing harmonica with me today, and then another friend of mine, Derek Rutherford. We had the pleasure a couple of years ago uh, supporting them at Cleve, Bishop Cleve, and the Tide Bar. And it was a great night. And uh, one of the songs I picked up of theirs was uh, the song called The Last Letter Home. It's a beautiful song, and uh, it's an old song. It's kind of a song about yeah, the Civil War. And uh, if there's ever a good song about war, it's this one. It's written a long time ago by McDade and Brown. So uh, it's quite a good old song, but it's a beautiful song. I enjoy playing it. And uh, I'll give it a go. Last letter home. <laughs> So right, and the morphine seems to do no good at all. I would run away if I would not fall. Well, I joined the Southern Cavalry for fun. I she rode a thousand horses, always handy with a gun. Now I'm among the horseless riders. Lying still, swallowed up by the cause on Harold's Hill. 
How I dream of a rose in a Spanish garden And I kiss you, place flowers in your hair If I'm ever on my feet again, I will I will run all the way just to meet you there Good songs about war, eh? Few and far between. Okay, bring it back to more uh, recent times, well, I'll say late 50s, early 60s, when my uh, mum was running around and having fun. She lived in the lower end of John, and there's a street down there called Market Street, and I wrote this song without a mind, based around a cafe races back in the late 50s, early 60s, and the greasers and the ton of boys. It's kind of a heartbreaking time, but. Uh, with our mother minds, go market street. Let's go down old market street and let's go into town. Let's go down the lower end and chase the girls around. Try and night and I've been paid, my money is burning a hole. I've greased my hair and brushed my teeth, it's time to rock and roll. The slow is here and I've got my bike, the engine's running smooth. Let's go down Oak Park Street and get on in the groove. The ton of boys are ready to go with their bikes and nice and clean. They do a lot around the town from here to West Green. Later on, the action starts as we go to a dance. We'll find a girl and stand around both hungry for romance. The summer's here and I got my bike, the engine's running smooth. Let's go down an old park street and get on in the groove. Let's go down an old park street and let's go into town. Let's go down the lower end and chase the rules around. Friday night and I've been paid, my money's burning a hole. I've greased my hair and brushed my teeth, it's time to rock and roll. The summer's here and I got my back, the engine's running smooth. Let's go down old market street and get on in the groove. Market street, thank you. All right, we're gonna uh, we're just set up. Have a sneaky beer. And uh, they're gonna sit you having a beer. Now, you know, I feel for him, he was in a kind of sandbox there. And he's gonna be there a long time this weekend. And uh, there's people like that behind the scenes that make all this possible. So uh, 
I said I'd raise the bottle to him, so cheers, man. You're doing a good job. And uh, yeah, as I said, Angers Bar, that's the place to go. It's a great place. Fred is great. First of all, I went in there, I think I had uh, some Queen Claim on the jukebox, and uh, well, they come out with the, uh, the impressions and everything. And, uh, but it was fun. It was a good night. And as I said, he's well worth the money. He's a good quality guy. And talking to bars and small places to chill out. During this lockdown, I, I came up with this one, I wrote this one, as I was feeling at times, it's called Whiskey Time. And uh, sometimes there's nothing like a little whiskey to get you through. And it was cold at the time, I didn't have eaten on. So that's another story. But anyway, this is Whiskey Time. Just stay cut. Pass me a bottle, roll it a wine. Don't want no beer, it's whiskey time. Lock the door, throw away the key. Leave me here, the whiskey in me. It's whiskey time. Pretty baby, we're doing just fine. Keeps me warm in the dead of night. We don't squabble and we don't fight. Always there, my one true friend. We'll be together. Until the end, all right. It's whiskey time. You know what, pretty baby? Doing just fine. Me a bottle, take away the wine. Don't want no beer, it's whiskey time. Lock the door, throw away the key. Leave me here, the whiskey in me. It's whiskey time. You know what, pretty baby? Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. 
Okay. This is a, again, this is a new one for me. I wrote for me in a web time. It's called uh, I Believe. And uh, I think we all could have someone to believe in now and again. That's nice if you have. But if you haven't, there will be soon. Again, I mean, I can't say enough. The, the, the guy dying behind the scenes, setting all this up, it's, it's not just thrown together. It's a few months of emails and the odd uh, phone call and that. But um, hats off to the guys, and uh, it's worth it. We've lost a bit. We've lost a folk trail in general. It's been great. And when I mention it, there's a guy um, I play on his show uh, now and again over Winchcom. Don't know why I'm pointing, Winchcom. Um, Kevin also about on the Winchcom Radio Folk Show. I think uh, Lucy Jarrett's on later. She's a co-com, co-com compare. And she'll be something about it. But he's a small supporter of uh, local music as well, especially this kind of genre. So uh, he's well worth the tune in to, uh, if you get a chance to listen. Winchcom Folk Show, 7 o'clock, I think, on Monday nights. Anyway, back to song. This good, I believe. <laughs> It's the back of your head now. I leave you sleeping. I say, get out of the bed now. I burn my toast. I think of what you said now. That you would stare at me, and my heart is simply red now. And I believe that you, yes, I do. I believe in you. Nobody's perfect. You head it up and fall. Your friends would tell me, you kick me out the door now. I'm not a castaway, stranded on a show now. You're my hobby girl, I ain't gonna sit up anymore now. And I believe. And you, yes I do. And I believe in you. And I believe in you, yes I do. And I believe in you. Turn in the morning and I kiss the back of your head now. I leave you sleeping as I get out of the bed now. I'll think of what you said now. But you said now, my heart is simply red now. Time to change it in that for real. My heart is over, girl. Tell me how you feel. Hope the game is over. Don't bother with the deal. My cards are on the table. There's nothing more to reveal. And I believe in you. Yes, I do. And I believe. And I believe in you. Yes, I do. And I believe in you. And you, yes I do. And I believe in you. Thank you. I believe in you. Okay, uh, using track of time. I think I have time for one more. Um, so this will be the last one. Again, it's been a pleasure. Thanks to Danny. Thanks to everyone at Lost Bed. Support Angie's Bar. And support the Gloucester Folk Trail. It's something uh, to always look forward to, personally, um, every year for me, this time of year. And uh, as I said, I normally have a good friend, Stevie Kent, playing with me, but because of the restrictions, obviously that's un- unattainable at the moment. But um, I just changed guitars, actually. This guitar, by the way, is a beautiful Steve Toon guitar, Luca Luthia. And uh, if you ever get a chance to get one, get one, because he's a phenomenal maker. And uh, yeah, someone will keep your life. But anyway, one second.
This is the gun alarm as well. Losing track of time, I'm gonna clue, but hang on. A week of organizing, you know, last minute rush. As I said, okay. Um, yeah, Steve, come on to play with me today, normally. Um, this last song is, uh, we've done nice dedications to people and people who put their on. But this song uh, is called The Troubadour. It's kind of a dedicate to all my friends that I've played with over the years. Go on, for the blues bands, the kind of rock bands. People like Felix Garces, Derek Rutherford, Guy and Cathy, Lorraine, Stevie Cat. We're all similar ilk and we're all friends and uh, we all do our thing. And, um, but the bottom line, the bottom end of it, we're just in it because we love playing music. And this is a song dedicated to all my friends. And everyone out there has enjoyed this uh, day so far. There's lots more musicians coming on as well. They're all be pretty, uh, pretty good. Anyway, this is to uh, my music friends and anyone else out there. It's based a long time ago. It's called Life of a Truth Door. I sing for the king, and I sing for the queen. Music in the background, I will make a scene. My black man will take me, travel every day. Throw me some money and I will play. Throw me some money and I will play. A life of a troubadour has its ups and downs. Never ever in one place, or roam from town to town. Maiden, she may give me a bed where I can lay. Throw me some money and I will play. Throw me some money and I will play. Whichever side is winning. I will sing for them. Music keeps the peace. I never will condemn. The loot is my weapon. Let me have my say. Throw me some money. And I will play. Throw the money, and I will play. I will play. We will play. I will play. We will play. Thank you very much, Cross the Folk Trail. My name is Sid Harvey. I'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Peace out.
Hi there. It's so lovely to be here. Well, I'm actually in my front room, but this time last year, it's hard to believe, isn't it? That the folk trail was on and we're all in the different venues. And I can't wait for us all to be able to meet up again. But this is a wonderful thing. And thanks to everybody that's that's been involved in it. I mean, it's it's wonderful. Um, I know where I'll be heading straight back to as soon as we can. Um, I'll be going to the Antique Centre on, on Westgate Street, get a piece of cake and a cup of tea, meet, meet up with all my Gloucester pals, who I've missed ever so much. But um, anyway, I'm going to sing you some of my songs. And uh, this first one is called She. <laughs> my first one called she not not she indoors or she's the cat's mother but as as in a water spirit because sometimes that's a bit confusing now this next one I could fib and say is mine but it become very obvious that it's not um, it's the words are by Robbie Burns and I think that the feeling about it 
is very re relevant with today. That, that's what I think. And it's called Rogues in a Nation. Farewell to all a Scottish Farewell, our ancient glory. Farewell, even to a Scottish name, say famed in martial story. So our friends over the Solway sands. Tweed runs to the ocean to mark where England's broad stands. Such a parcel of ropes in a nation. What force or guile could not subdue through many warlike ages? Is rock now by the coward few for hireling traitors' wages? The English Steel we could disdain, secure in Valor Station. That English gold had been our pain, such a parcel of rogues in a nation. All would or I had seen the day Trees and us could sell us My old grey head had lain in clay Where Bruce and Laurel walled Till my last hour, I'll make this declaration. We were bought and sold for English gold, such a parcel of rogues in a nation, such a parcel of rogues. In a nation. Pass of rogues. Just got to get a sip of water. <clears throat> now I'm going to sing you another one of mine now. And this is a timely reminder not to get a sort of mixed up with. Um, with any uh, shady aristocracy, because it, it can end in a fall. This is called, I fell in love with a Viscount. I fell in love with a Viscount, wasn't in love with me. What would be caught by the small they fought? Then this determined. I fell in love with a boy count. He wasn't in love with me. All my dreams of living in a stately home surrounded by reality.
out, come on to the church. I fell in love with a boy friend, took my baby boy away. All the snakes and the trucks and the midnight taps could never keep me away. I messed up with those aristocracies. No, 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 not a good idea. So this next one is called Raggedy Boy. Where does she lie now, the precious maiden? One who was always so wild and free Inside the brambles, Branches and tangles, strung on my soul. Branches and tangles, strung on my soul. Whispering messages back to the winds. You came along and you stole a degree. Dancing on rainbows, making me sing. I was your angel, you were my king. I was your angel, you were my king. Where does it lie now? I'd set it up. That took my heart, it's falling apart. Inside the clouds, under the sea. See you, I didn't try to strangle me. See you, I didn't try to strangle me. Whispering 
messages out to the winds. You took my hand and you stole everything we did. Dancing on rainbows, changing the world. My pretty boy and the cutie eyed girl. My pretty boy and the cutie eyed girl. My pretty boy and the cutie eyed girl. boy and the Jewy guy girl. Hmm. It sure will be a lovely work when we can all get about a bit, won't it, and meet up with each other. Really looking forward to it. But I do believe it won't be long now, so fingers crossed. Hmm. Um, hopefully we'll all be able to get out under the sun soon, which is what we're all missing, isn't it, really? So this, this is the song called Under the Sun, strangely enough. <clears throat> I just, I'm sorry about that. Full stop. sun returns very soon very soon anyway let's have another sip okay 
Now, I'm not going to sing a sea shanty, I promise, but I've noticed that sea shanties have been very popular just recently. Some people have been saying they can't bear them, but um, anyway, I quite like them, but not, not all the time. But um, this one's called The Sea. Mm -hmm. I sailed across the sea, I sailed across the sea, the warrior wind was bought and sold, I needed sanctuary. be lovely i'd love to be by the sea at the moment wouldn't that be really nice again soon hopefully okay well now this is going to be my last one it's it's been such a joy to be here and hopefully see you all in the flesh very soon thanks again to everybody that's that's organized folk trail and um this this is one that i wrote a while back because I, I just got really upset by um, what I saw going on in the world. And I tend to dedicate it to the indigenous people, peoples of the world who are Mother Earth's proper caretaker. And also want to give a shout out to all of the brilliant environmentalists that have been sticking it out, trying to stop HS2 after all this time. Um, good luck to them. Goodness me. Anyway, this one is called Eden's Burning, and I'll say bye bye on this. Thank you. 
when you kick down to your knee. When the big man says it's progress, but they're killing all our trees. Ooh, it's progress, progress. Ooh, those wheels are turning. Ooh, it's progress, they say.
for listening. Bye-bye.
Hello. Hello, everybody. I think I'm here. I'm a little bit echoey. I was a little bit, um, sorry about the delay, 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 delay. Um, welcome to um, your first problem child on um, the Gloucester Folk Trail this year. <laughs> there was bound to be one, and of course it had to be me, um, but at least I turned up this year. It's been a bit of a problem for the last few years, but I've managed it. So um, this is, <laughs> thank you, Danny, for sharing my link. This is, um, I'm going to start off with, with, with a bit of Joni Mitchell. I've got a bit of a, an assortment of uh, things, a, a few of mine and some, um, uh, a couple of traditionals and some more modern folk. Um, this is an assortment. This is a bit of Joni Mitchell um, to start off with. This is a free man in Paris to start with. So here we go. Everybody's in it for their own game, you can't please them all. There's always somebody calling you down. I do my best to do good business. There's a lot of people asking for my time, trying to get ahead. They're trying to be a good friend of mine. Cause I was a free man in Paris, I felt unfed and alive. There was nobody calling me up for favors, no one's future to decide. You know I'd go back there tomorrow, but for the work I've taken on. So can the store make a machinery behind a popular song? Joni Mitchell to start with, and free man in Paris. And what we all like to be in Paris, wouldn't we? So I had a little bit of bother. I couldn't get into the room, you see. Should have been so straightforward, but you know, sometimes I'm just a little bit of a bother. However, it'll all be fine now. I'm going to do one now by um, by the lovely Ralph McTell because I quite like him. I'm quite partial. I had the, the pleasure to um, play a little opener for him some years ago. Oh, hurrah! And um, I'd seen him before, and he'd um, he'd done this song. I was completely taken by it. He was um he explained that that um he'd 
he'd read a story about about this song. He wrote a song about it. It was um it's a lady that was going to commit suicide, and um um and she didn't. And this is the story about about that this letter that she was going to send but didn't decided not to. It's called Easter Lilies. For a long time she stood at the flower shop window The daffodils dearest at this time of year and inside she emptied her purse on the counter I want to spend all of the daffodils here I arise it was plain to see she'd been crying as she took back a strand of loose hair from her face I want to spend all of my money on flowers and I need every daffodil here in this place. Clutching a harvest, a corn sheaf of flowers, she strambled aboard the late rush hour tram. And by Schweisgart's garden, a small pool of water had formed on the floor as it wrung from her hands. It just seemed to add to the last look about her as the grey rumbling city went tumbling past. She sat like a small child testing for butter her face lit in yellow from the flowers tightly clasped once in her apartment she lay down the blue Divided them up into glasses and jars Till daffodils filled every space in the room And she lit every candle she'd had in the house She bathed and she dressed, cooked open champagne Which made pigeons fly from her windowsill Closing the curtains on birds in the rain She stood among flickering daffodils Surrounded and scented She pondered her feelings so foot and cushioned on feathers she lay, holding on to the pillows lest she float to the ceiling, and just like the cigarette smoke drift away. She wondered just where a wind would deliver an unwritten letter, a torn envelope. Candlelight warmed her, she suddenly shivered, and the yellow flowers shimmered with brightness and hope. Ralph McTell. Can't beat a bit of Ralph McTell, I think. Right, songs about the loveliest things and the saddest things, all sorts of things. So that's a bit, there's a couple, there's a couple, she said. 
So what do we have next, I wonder? Well, I, mean, I have to say, I'm a little bit upside down because I wasn't quite expecting all that. <laughs> um, but, you know, so there we are. Um, I think I'll do one of mine. This is, um, this is, uh, this is the gardener. This is song about, um, this song about my grandfather. Um, an organizer, a setter of rules. Um, well, as far as the garden was concerned, everything had to be in tip top condition, which is, I've said before, very good rules for life. Just have to do everything in order and everything follows. So, this is the gardener. Thank you. 
gardening. Gardening and life, generally. Oh, should we do that one? Let's do this one. This is a bit of James Taylor. Um, taken from a show that I think he wrote in 1973, which has um, got very folky um, roots. It's called the, the Mill Worker. I think that's what the show was called, which didn't, didn't last very long on Broadway. But out of it came a few very great songs, including this one. Anyone that's seen James Taylor live will have heard more than likely heard this live. Millwork, a song about millwork and the life of a mill worker, which wasn't an happy one necessarily. Just checking the time I've got because I think I'm probably a bit compromised. Here we go. And the rest of my life 
two short ones, I think. I'm going to do, um, I think I've got time for two. So I'm going to do um, another one in job D actually. This is an old shanty, except I don't do it like that. This is um, the holy ground. <clears throat> Farewell, my lovely Johnny, a thousand times adieu. You are going away from the holy ground and the ones that you love true. You will sail the salt seas over. And then return for sure to see again the ones you love and the holy ground once more. <laughs> You're on the salt sea sailing. I am safe behind. Fond letters I will write to you. The secrets of my mind. And the secrets of my mind, my love. You're the one that I adore. And still I live in hope that you'll see the holy ground. You'll go to see 
once more. You're the one that I adore. And still I live in hope that you'll see the holy ground once more. Holy ground. There we go. Oh, sorry about the nose mic. Oh. Well, I think that's my time off, actually. So that's obviously a longer one than I thought it was. Sorry, I was late arriving. I think that's something called the Zoom chamber. Hope you don't get lost in there, but it's well worth it. So have a lovely day. Have more music to come. Um, thanks very much for having me. And um, thank you for, um, um, uh, I've, sorry, it was such a brief meeting in the Zoom chamber. I've forgotten what your name is, Mr. Lovely Soundman. Thanks to Danny and, and Bill and everyone for organizing and um, smashing. Thank you. Bye.
Hmm. Hello. Hello everybody. Um, I'm Ches. I can't see you, which feels really weird. Um, yeah, so I'm going to invite us to do a thing before I start playing and it's to acknowledge that we're all in our own rooms so I'd like everybody to just have a little look around at where you are and then bring that into your heart and as we come to the screen and we're all in our different places know that we're also here and we're all together in this zoom room which is the new cool place to hang out. So I'm going to share a few tunes. Um, and the first one, I thought I'd do one of my forest classics, which is on my first album. I actually haven't got a second album, so it's on my only album. Um, and it's called Of Forest. And um, I found it in the archives on Gloss Trad. So the first shout out is to Gloss Trad and how incredible their archives are. And yeah, I sang this at the Cavern two years ago at the Folk Trail. And I want to do a shout out to them because I think that's my chosen business to chat about. They do amazing stuff and there's such a versatile programme of music they send out from there. So look forward to sharing more music at the cavern so if you were there two years ago i sang it then and i thought i'd start with it now as a little nod to our gloucestershire um community of amazing music so this is shot like a bird on a tree i 
can see him shut like a bird on the tree. story goes from this old folk song gathered by from the Brazel family that this young girl's argument was so strong as to why she should marry this young man that he gave in and they got married and um, for me it's a story about uh, if there's love you can do anything <sighs> So I'm going to do another one on the accordion. I was going to say accordion bobs then, but we're public. I don't, I don't even know how many people are here, but I'm sure there's at least me and my dad and the sound guy and um, lots of other lovely people. So hello, far and wide. Um, I, I'm going to be brave and share a new song. Um, and it's one that I wrote with a dear friend and um, collaborator Viv Sherman who is a Wiltshire based musician and my musical guru so we wrote this in between the last lockdowns when we squirreled away in an outdoor garden and um, it's sort of a sentiment about it's gonna get better so enjoy this is called it's gonna be a lovely afternoon
stuck in this gloomy place. Although that's what they'd have us believe. Wanna put a smile upon your face? Did you hear what the weatherman said? It's gonna be a lovely afternoon. We can take a picnic to the beach. It is going to be a lovely afternoon, everybody, when we can all take hold of those little things and these little moments of sharing, because it's it's still ha life is still happening. So um, it's about finding these little moments of joy. Um, so I am. Um, had loads of work cancelled, classic, last year, so I had loads of time to practice the banjo, <laughs> which, um, that's my little ray of hope. One hand, this happened, on the other hand, this happened, so. I'd really like to, um, share another new song. And this one is off the back of a project that I, um, I'm working on called Grief Notes and it's with um, Wildwood Arts which is a local arts organisation and I had the lovely privilege of working with a group of young people um, in the forest and in Herefordshire and we made uh, a theatre performance and we performed it last January and we had planned to develop it and tour it, um, lockdown happened so someone had a great idea um, to turn it into a radio play. So fingers crossed, we've just put our funding bid in and we'll hear in the next couple of months whether we can turn this into a, an audio piece combining stories and music. And this is a little song that I think will be in the show. And no one else has heard it apart from Viv and my dad. So, what's that called? A premiere? Um, yeah, it's called Gather Around. Mm. 
and the sentiment, although it's about um, grief and uh, the love for people that are no longer here, I think it's also about this sense of what's going on now where we're craving to be together and this this time where we're, we're hoping and dreaming for that. So, gather around. Gather around, gather 
Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure we've all got people that we could plop into that story. So, for all those that are no longer here, let us be grateful for that and let's be more grateful for all of those that are right here, right now at Gloucester Folk Trail. Well done for putting this together. I know there's been lots of behind the scenes liaising and organising and it's not easy doing stuff online. <laughs> so yeah, big respect for everybody. And if you enjoy the music that the musicians are sharing, go and do all those things like share their posts on the social medias and buy the albums on the websites and you know it's, it's time for us to all look out for each other and until we can all be at gigs and um so yeah i'll give you two two albums for a tenner <laughs> so um let's dream of that time i'm going to do one more and this is also another new one um and it's about um the river seven so yeah, I I love stories from Gloucestershire and I love stories full stop, but as someone from the Forest of Dean, I love all the stories about the area and um if you want to geek out more about any of these, please get in touch. Um it'd be lovely to do some more story sharing. But this is this is a new one and it's about um the the myth of or the legend depending on what you think, of Sabrina, who is thought to be the goddess of the River Severn. So I spend a lot of time by the river and um, or going over the river or thinking, oh, the river's in between, um, lots of things. So here's um, a new song. It's called Sabrina. It's my last one. Thank you for having me and um, enjoy. This is Sabrina, not the Teenage Witch, 90s reference. The myth and legend of the River Seven. <laughs> i 
seventh time. She will learn to be kind. Oh, this seventh time. Let's all learn to be kind. Just like Sabrina. Live in the water. Thank you very much everybody for watching and listening. See you in the world somewhere. Well done Gloucester Folk Trail. The end.
Hey. Hi, everybody. Hoping I'm live at the moment. Not seeing it. There I come. Here I come. Yeah. Coming up on my screen now. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name's Alex. I'm going to play you a, a few songs now for the next half hour. This is all stuff that I wrote myself. Uh, those of you who know me know that I live down in the Forest of Dean and uh, do a lot of organising of uh, musical events down there. Uh, this song is a story of how I came to be living in the Forest of Dean, or rather what happened before that. I used to live up in the Thames Valley, and uh, that's just a big building site these days, so... Uh, I moved down here to get away from it, but in the process, I succumbed to the devil and I sold my house to a property developer who knocked it down. Uh, this is a story of that. It's called Palaces on Postage Stamps. <laughs> stamps if you like my offer then sign right there when the deal goes through you'll get your share and we'll give you three months to find somewhere and build palaces on postage stamps because you gotta give the people what they need room big enough for a huge tv fully fitted kitchen and utility in a palace on a postage stamp says we need more homes first time buyers get help with loans so everyone can have a place of their own a palace on a postage stamp relax the legislation and the planning control pass it on the nut before the protests grow you can reap just what you sow a crop of palaces on postage stamps because you gotta give the people what they choose on a postage stamp Excuse me. 
a moment. Skim over here for a second. Ah, minor technical problem there. But we're sorting out now. So this is a song inspired by a friend of mine. A little bit of innuendo here. This is uh, my best attempt at doing a Richard Thompson. It's called White Van Woman and it goes something like this. Lady with an independent side If you see her on the road Don't go looking for a ride You won't know what's hit you When she's got you inside She's a white van woman White van woman looking fine to me Running around the country Like a busy little bee One eye in the mirror One eye on the road Never at a red light No, no around the south coast of England in a little Red Kango van a few years back. And this is another song that was inspired by the sea in a roundabout way. Very old song of mine from 1984, written while I was living in the South Pacific. It's called Sons of the Sail. She's an eighteen-handed schooner, 
of the Palmerino line And we sail the isles from Bougainville to Temoe A life of bold adventure on the dark and rolling sea is good enough for the sixteen sons of the sail, the captain and me. A singular deserter from a war in the Far East took a purple heart and a shrapnel shroud to show the army is not for me. Give me the endless ocean and the wind to set me free. It's good enough for the sixteen sons of the sail, the captain and me. I signed on working passage destination and shore. The sound of guns still rumbling in my brain But I've been working passage now for fifteen years or more And I never want to hear that sound again With the sun setting behind us and the tide still on the rise, leave an angel on the quayside with tears in her eyes. A girl in every harbor till it's time to put to sea is good enough for the sixteen sons of the sail. She's an eighteen-handed schooner of the Palmerino line And she sails the isles from Bougainville to Temoe A life of bold adventure on the dark and rolling sea Well, that's good enough for the sixteen sons of the sail It's good enough for the sixteen sons of the sail, the captain and me. There we go, that was a song called Sons of the Sail that I wrote in Fiji many, many years ago when I was a young man. And um, I'm going to switch guitars now. Also have a quick drink while I'm in the process. Cheers. This is a, a much more recent song. This one's for Martin Vogwell doing a very informative uh, open tuning workshop today, um, so I appreciate that, Martin. This song is actually in an open tuning. This is in uh, open A, and this is a song I wrote in memory of my dog Molly, who passed away about 15 months ago. I wrote this about a year ago. Um, Lucy Jarrett will remember that we were doing uh, Kevin O'Farr's uh, Radio Winchcombe Folk Collective show, and Kevin on his uh, fake or folk competition uh, gave me a, a folk 
a fake title called Apropos of Everything, and this is the song that I wrote called Apropos of Everything. So thanks to Kevin for the song title. Thanks to uh, everyone who's appreciated this particular song. I think I'm still top of his league on the competition as well. When you least expect them to, memories flood in. Winter's morn, a summer's day, an evening in the spring. You when you were starting out, unsteady as you go, more confident in every way as you begin to grow. Summertime spent on the beach or rolling in the hay, sidewalks song in on winter bought such pleasure as you gambled in the snow chasing shadows chasing dreams learning as you go so assured of all you do taking on the world never thinking you could lose my brave and fearless girl when you put the world to right, you'd lay down by my side, knowing wink a quiet, the quiet peaceful sigh. Take the younger one, I'll be waiting here, lying in some sunny spot until you reappear. When I came home on your last day, you met me at the door, smiled at me your saddest smile and lay down on the floor. And I watched as your star burned out, there was nothing I could do. And I watched as you closed your eyes, knowing how much I had missed you. Now when I am all alone with nothing more to do, looking through old photographs and thinking about you, those memories come flooding back, all the good times that we Apropos of everything, I'm still missing you. Okay, that was uh, apropos of everything, and uh, just to keep the momentum going, I shall change instruments again. I have this theory that uh, if I keep changing instruments, you won't realise I'm actually playing the same song equally badly every single time. So uh, bear with me on this. Here we go. <laughs> actually a tune rather than a song so uh, I'll give my voice a bit of a rest. Um, this is a song that I wrote uh, seven years ago last week. Um, it was inspired by a storm the name of which I can't remember that whipped up the English Channel on Valentine's Day 2014 and uh, caused a huge amount of destruction along the south coast. Uh, I was living in a place called East Wittering the Sussex coast at the time and I remember going down to the beach the next morning and uh, looking at the, the destruction that had been 
wreaked by this storm uh, the uh, beach houses had all, beach huts had all been washed away and destroyed and smashed into each other it was an absolute wreckage there and there were people with uh, beachfront properties who were mopping out their uh, houses and garages from the, the floods that had come over the top of the sea wall there um, so this one's about the sea and uh, if you want to imagine while you're listening to this the sound of uh, waves breaking on a shingle beach. That's what I had in mind. This is called Bracklesham Bay. Thanks very much for listening so far. Uh, this one's going to be my last song. But before I go, I should say that all of these songs are available on my new album, or at least they would be if I'd recorded it. But unfortunately, due to lockdown, the plan to record an album a year ago got squashed. And so far, we haven't really made much progress on it. But I will get around to it one of these days. Um, so there is an album coming. There's possibly two albums coming. There's work in progress. The title track of the album, as and when it does emerge, will be second go around. And I'm going to finish with the title track of the album, second go around. This is a song for all of you who are growing a bit old like me. And it's a song about regrets. I don't regret anything I have done in my life, but there's a lot of the things I haven't done that I really regret. Here we go. Some say my life has been a bed of roses. 
It hasn't been that hard for me, it's true. I guess that you would have to call me lucky, not suffering as other people do. But don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for my fortune. That life's journey's been so easy and so smooth But now when I look back upon that journey I regret the things I didn't do So can I have a second go around? Can I have a second go around? For all the great gigs that I missed and all the girls I never kissed Can I have a second go around? I've never had to ask for police protection I've never had to spend the night in jail I've never had to make that only phone call And I've never asked a friend to post my bail can I have a second go around? Can I have a second go around? For all the bets I never made and all the kids I never raised Can I have a second go around? I've never had to face this the music I've never had the bailiffs at my door I've never had to leave town in a hurry And I've never had to go and fight a war So can I have a second go around? Can I have a second go around? For all the places I've not been And all the sights that I've not seen Can I have a second go around? an angry mob I've never had to batten down the hatches and I've never had to fight to keep my job so can I have a second go around can I have a second go around for all the trails I never blazed and all the hell I never raised can I have a second go around If you'll give me 
second chance Well, I might even learn to dance But it's unlikely So can I have a second go around? Thank you very much. I've been Alex Davies. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Enjoy the rest of the folk trail. And I hope to see you out in the real world sometime soon. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Danny Hammond and I hope you're enjoying the Gloucester Folk Trail. If you're watching on YouTube, stay around. You don't have to go anywhere, keep watching and um, we have more music to come. If you're watching on Facebook, however, we're limited to the amount of hours we can show you. And having 10 hours of folk this Saturday is a bit too much for Facebook. So we have to stop the uh, live video and start a new one. So for all of you Facebook viewers, simply click on the new video when it comes up on the Gloucester Folk Trail page, and then you'll get to see the remaining performers. And up next we have, um, who is it? Oh, it's me. So I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you so much.
Hello, I'm Danny Hammond. I'm one of the organisers of the Gloucester Folk Trail. I hope you've been enjoying this year's online version. Um, I certainly have. It's been great. Great to see so many people. We've really been inspired uh, by you lot, the music lovers, the community, uh, the audience and the musicians that have come together, embraced technology and just kept things going over the last year. It's, um, it's really been good stuff. Um, and so here we are trying to do our bit too. I'm going to play some acoustic instrumental uh, pieces for you, and I hope you enjoy them. Um, the first one I think I'm going to do will be She Moved Through the Fair. So this is uh, an English tune, uh, quite a popular one. Um, it was brought to my attention as a guitar piece by uh, Davy Graham's rendition, which is fantastic. He improvises all over the place. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna improvise a lot, um, a few nods to Davy Graham himself. I hope you enjoy it. She moved through the fair.
Okay, that was my take on She Moved Through the Fair, inspired by Davy Graham. Um, I'm going to mellow it out a little bit now and do um, a Scottish tune, Farewell to Lock Harbour. <laughs> Okay, that was Return to Lock Harbour, and then um, sort of Wild Mountain Time, which I, I just tried figuring out in Dadgad um, uh, just earlier this week, so that's kind of uh, new, um, and I need to work on that one a bit. I'll be teaching a version of Wild Mountain Time in standard tuning, really simple guitar chords uh, suitable for beginners, and that shall be tomorrow. Um, next up then, this, this tune has a bit of a tale. So the piper Seamus Ennis introduced this uh, tune and he introduced it um, with a story of supernatural origins. Apparently um, a chap was um, out for a walk and he, he took a nap and he awoke in a field surrounded by fairies and the fae were playing some delightful music. Um, he went home, he told all the villagers about this and their reaction was something like, oh Seamus, you've been on the drink, you've fallen into a drunken stupor and you're talking nonsense. He responded by pulling out his pipe and playing the tune that he heard the fairies play. When he did this, even the most elder member of the village could not have heard, uh, could not remember having heard the tune uh, before. And he was thus believed, and the tune was therefore known as the fairies' hornpipe. <laughs> I'll start, get comfortable. <laughs> Thank you. 
Keep that one short and sweet. Um, that's a jolly one. I enjoy that. Um, the next one, um, the tale with this, it's actually, um, it's, it's got a story in parts. So I knew nothing of this tune other than its name, The Return from Fingal. On the very, very first folk trail, I played this song and um, I learnt uh, from people that were there. That's the great thing about the folk trail, all the people. Um, it's real coming together of all sorts of uh, walks of life. And um, I learned that Fingal was a place in Ireland, um, in the sort of Dublin area, it's a county. And then on another year, I was um, informed that there's a place in Ireland called Fingal's Cave, which has uh, apparently amazing acoustic properties. So that's on the uh, bucket list of places to visit with the guitar one day. Um, and then uh, last year, I learned that the story behind the tune was um, of a long time ago when the Vikings decided they wanted lots of bits of land and uh, they thought they'd have a go at Ireland. Um, so they invaded uh, the king at the time, Brian Baru, great Irish king. He was having none of it. So he went down there with the lads, sorted them out. Um, they had heavy losses, but it was a victory. And any great battle is deserving of um, a, a tune in its honour. And that's what this one is. It's a march and it's called The Return from Fingal. Uh, this is arranged by Pierre Ben Susan, a brilliant Celtic uh, fingerstyle guitarist. Thank you. 
I'd slow it down at the end because I imagine they actually get home and they relax and sit down and have a pint. And won't that be nice when we can all do that together? Um, for now, I've got a little cider. It's not the same. It's not a pub. It's, it's just, you know. Anyway, Saturday night. <laughs> um, <clears throat> next up, I'm, um, I'm going to play um, a John Fahey tune. John Fay's um, an American guitarist, so it kind of nip across the pond for this one. So if you if you're a guitarist, I've been using Dad Gad D A D G A D. That's the notes on the strings. Um, I'm now turning my G into an F sharp to get a beautiful D major open D tuning. So John Fay, he's probably one of my biggest inspirations. Uh, that dude never sung a word. Um, he just played guitar, guitar notes, nothing else, um, which is, is I, I like doing that. You know, I love songs as well. I love listening to songs, but I'm not much of a singer, the guitars. Um, really what I do, John Fahey has um, some brilliant takes on traditional American music, um, blues and um, that, that kind of stuff. But he's also got some really beautiful compositions of his. If I have time, I may play um, one of his own compositions. But this is kind of a take on a, an old traditional uh, tune. Uh, this is Poor Boy's Long Ways From Home in a sort of John Fahey style. One's fun. It's a nightmare for the right hand. There's actually a great video on um, YouTube of John Fahey teaching it. His lesson I can summarize in, in about 12 seconds. It's like um, the first chord is uh, this chord, uh, then the next chord is this chord, and the, the last chord is uh, this chord. And that's that's all he explains in the lesson, and you've just got to figure it out from that. <laughs> um, Right, what's next? I'm going to put that string back where it belongs. Oh, 
we're going to come back to Europe now for an Irish piece. So Terlock O'Carlin, Irish um, harp bard, um, he's, he's got some excellent pieces. Um, this one's probably his most well-known piece, is She Begs She More. Um, it gets arranged a lot for the guitar because harp translates great for the guitar and just his melodies are preserved in the, the written music so you can kind of interpret the harmony um, however you like. This is my sort of interpretation and arrangement of the piece. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, what's next? Next I'm going to um, gonna go on a tuning detour. So the great thing about the guitar, it's very versatile and it's most versatile in its um, open tuning format. Uh, sorry, it's standard tuning. Play any key in standard tuning. Open tuning is really best in the key that you're tuned to. So now I'm in G minor. Uh, this is a very new piece to me. Um, it's another Turlock O'Carlin piece. This is The Lamentation of Owen Rowe O'Neill, arranged by John Renborn. Um, I heard his arrangement and it was uh, it floored me. So I was like, I better learn that. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. This is um, the first time performing it in a kind of live setting. So touch wood it goes okay let's let's see
Lamentation of Owen Rowe O'Neill, Turlock O'Carlin, arranged by John Renborn. Um, all right, now, wh what's the time? When do I finish? A little sneak peek at the schedule. Where, when did I put myself on? Okay, we, we've got loads of time. This is good. Um, I'm going to play. I think I've got time. Maybe for three, maybe for two. It depends. Depends how long they, they, they come out. Um, I'm going to tune just one string. Uh, take that. Uh, what's giving us the minor third. And make it a major third. And I have a G major tuning. Um, I'm going to go and play another Fahey piece. I told you um, he does some brilliant original compositions. The other one was a take on a traditional piece. Uh, this is a Fahey original. Okay, this one's called Sunny Side of the Ocean. That was sunny side of the ocean. Um, now I think I think I've got time for another one, probably still. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into its normal tuning, um, and I'm going to use a tuner to do that because 
it's just a bit more fiddly, in my opinion. Open tunings just sound so good. So um, we've been asking performers to say kind words about Gloucester businesses. This is a Gloucester Bid supported event and uh, one of the great things it does is it supports and promotes many of our fine establishments that we have. Um, I've heard some, some great bits uh, from performers um, saying why and what they love in, in Gloucester Centre. I'm going to say some kind words about Hooker and Eight. If you like pizza, then you, you need to check this place out. If you haven't checked it out already, um, they're an independent pizza place on Westgate Street, and it is probably one of the most Gloucester experiences you can have. Um, if you didn't think pizza could be such a Gloucester experience, then check them out and be proven wrong. Okay, so we're almost there, so I'm gonna play one final piece. Um, and this is one of those pieces that can be, you know, two minutes long or it can be ten minutes long. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly see how long um, I've really got. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it on the sh shorter side, I think. Uh, Davy Graham, great guy. This uh, is a, an original by Davy Graham. It's called Angie. Um, it's very popular with fingerstyle guitarists. It's kind of like the uh, fingerstyle rite of passage, almost. It's like... Um, like your hiss, Stairway to Heaven being played on electric guitars and guitar shops. This is the uh, acoustic equivalent, Angie. Um, it's been done by Bert Yanch, Paul Simon, loads of people. They all put their own spin on it, and this is, uh, this is my spin on Angie. I hope uh, Luke Philbrick's playing his version of Angie too. It's got a version with words, it's a totally different song, but it's, it's incredible. It's... Mm -hmm. Good stuff, he's up later. Okay.
I've been Danny Hammond, and this is the Gloucester Folk Trail. It's, um, it's been a pleasure. I've been enjoying it so far. It's been excellent, and I look forward to another uh, full day of fun, folky things tomorrow. And I hope to see many of you there virtually. This is um, it's the best we can manage, and let's hope that um, next year we'll all be out in the venues come rain or shine. Adjusted a bit on here, so I monitor the levels as we go along okay. and up and down it a bit if it needs it. So that's great. Um, well, if we have our picture of um, us at the fountain while we talk about the fountain, and then we'll switch the camera on. Is that okay? Yeah. Okie dokie. Right, we're ready to go on. So um, okay. in a second, I count down from five. Yeah. Um, five, four, three, two, one. Then I mute myself. Yeah. And after the one, you'll be live. Righto. Good evening everybody. Here we are. You can see us in the lovely Fountain Pub in Westgate Street, Gloucester. Which is where we were last year. <laughs> or at least it's where we would like to be. Yes, we were there last year. And it's a lovely pub, smashing food. It's a great music venue, a nice courtyard. Good and, beer. Yes, good beer. Um, and we hope we'll be there again before too long. And I understand they've given a lot of support to the uh, Folk Trail Festival, so support them as soon as you can. And this is where we are now. Yes. So we were enjoying listening to Danny's set. Danny Hammond is the organiser for this uh, event. So. Um, and a fine guitarist yes, too. Yes, it was very good. It was lovely. We are Discovery, and we're going to sing a selection of um, folk songs, traditional and uh, not so traditional. And quite a few from Gloucestershire actually, mm. including this one which was collected from Elizabeth Smithard of Chooksbury by Cecil Sharp, uh, but I've uh, adapted it and uh, imported one or two sets of uh, one or two verses from elsewhere. So this is the tale of uh, a man with no sense of uh, personal responsibility or guilt. My tray Jack Williams is my name. It was by a false deluding girl I was brought to grief and shame. I went a robbing day and night to maintain her fine and gay. And what I got I valued not, but took to her straight way. Till at length to Newgate I was brought bound down in 
iron strong With the rattling chains all around my legs She laughed to hear them on I wrote a letter to my love Some comfort for her to find But instead of proving a friend to me She proved to me unkind She in a scornful manner wrote Our shun thieves company So just as you made your bed, young man Down on it you must lie I thought these words were very hard And bitter to endure To think she had no more regard for me When I was poor I am a boatman by my trade And a waterman also I maintained her like some lady gay In silks from top to toe But if ever I gain my liberty A solemn vow I'll make I'll shun all evil company For that false woman's sake Jack Williams. Right, well this next song um, was uh, collected by um, Sabine Baring Gould and it was put with this tune by Sean Graver. It's a beautiful song, The Lark in the Morning. And I, I know it's about ploughboys really, but I like it because it reminds me of the skylarks which are on the commons near where we live in Stroud. The... Uh, the tune is as traditional as the words, but the ch uh, one came from Devon, the other came from Cornwall. I can never remember which way round it is. Yeah. Me neither. The lark in the morning. <laughs> can 
Returns to her nest in the evening. The lark in the morning. Okay, the next song comes from Gloucestershire again, or at least this version does. It's a very well-known song uh, called The Fox, and this particular version was... Collected um, in Avening? Yeah, Avening, which again is just up the road from where we live. Okay. <laughs> the fox went out in a hungry plight, and he bade the moon to give him light. For he'd many miles to trot that night Before he could reach his dan o dan o dan -o. For he'd many miles to trot that night Before he could reach his dan -o. At first he came to the farmer's yard Where the ducks and the geese declared it hard That their nerves should be shaken and their rest be marred By the visit of Mr Fox So, Fox so, Fox so That their nerves should be shaken and their rest be marred By the visit of Mr Fox So. He took the grey goose by the neck and swung her all across his back. And the black duck cried out quack, 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 at the legs are dangling down, oh, down, oh, down, oh. And the black duck cried out quack, 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 at the legs are dangling down, oh. Old Mother Slipper-Slopper jumped out of bed and out of the window she popped her head crying, John, 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 the grey goose is gone and the fox is away to his den, oh, den, oh, den, oh. Crying, John, 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 the grey goose is gone and the fox is away to his den, oh. Then John, John he went, went to the top of the hill And he blew a blast both loud and shrill Said the fox, this is pretty music Still I'd rather be at my dan -o. dan -o, dan -o. Said the fox, this is pretty music Still I'd rather be at my dan -o. So when he sat down with his hungry wife, they did very well without fork or knife. For they never ate a better goose in all their life, and the little ones picked the bones, oh, bones, oh, bones, oh. For they never ate a better goose in all their life, and the little ones picked the bones, oh. <laughs> the fox. Right, I'm going to leave you to it to do this one. This is also a song about a fox. From the fox's perspective, uh, Nick Jones did a version of this on his first album. This version uh, came, I believe, from Magpie Lane, Oxford group, uh, to me via Ron Taylor. <laughs> They all did me hate Or for 
one in my hands they did send Jerry Barlam, he swore I should die But I leave three brothers behind Who love young lambs better than I As through the wild country I ran But thirsty hounds did me follow It made me old coat stand on end to hear how the huntsman did hollow. Oft times I have been so surprised by a dog that could run like a cow. But in all the bad times of my life, I ne'er had a breathing. I ne'er had a breathing till now. I ran where the gamekeeper shot through my thigh. Oh, pardon, dear huntsman and hounds, for this mortal wound I shall die. It was in the field stony they killed. It was there I was forced for to die. The hounds they tore me to pieces. You should see how my jacket did fly. So now you bold Reynard have killed, you may go to the dolphin and dine, and drink up me health in a bumper, yes drink up me health in good wine. Some gentlemen take great delight in hunting bold Reynard the fox, and yon stony calm and I lived, and I lived among fat geese and ducks. I lived among fat geese and ducks, never thinking how soon I should die. I was chased by a pack of fresh hounds, which caused me this country to fly. traditional song, um, also from Gloucestershire, which we learned from the wonderful website glostrad.com, which if you haven't explored it yet, you really should, because it's a terrific resource. Main man behind it, uh, Gwilym Davis, is on tomorrow morning, I believe. So, mm -hmm. can, And can Veronica Lowe, who's part of it, is reading poetry, or, or yeah. has she done that already? Uh, no, she's doing that tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so this song was collected in uh, Chipping Sodbury from uh, one Henry Thomas. It's of a pretty young shepherd kept sheep on the mountain With his fife and his reedo he blew them so clear With his fife and his reedo he blew made young Sally appear. Said Jimmy to Sally, let us go a-walking down into this gay meadow to take some fresh air. Where the lambs are a-playing, are you with my love straying? Though the small birds sing sweet through the valleys so
prove to me. In chance I should stay with my shepherd too long. Then Jimmy and Sally were joined together. There he lived in a cottage contented to be. They were never once vexed, nor were never once grieved. But it was their whole study, each other to please. We put in that little musical interlude because I don't know if you noticed, if you're listening, one minute it was the morning and they were just going off for a wander and the next minute we know she's worried that her dad's going to be telling her off because she's been out so long and um and they're getting married so something so, happened in yes. between so there we go so we thought we'd have a read and a fight <clears throat> shall i talk about this one or do you uh, want to introduce it since it's your creation um uh, this is uh, three actually of William Blake's songs of experience from the songs of innocence and experience all of which I've set to music um, these three all appear on the same page in the original volume and they're three flower poems so uh, but they're not really about flowers oh and that has we do actually have a double album of the entire work which is which is the whole all the songs of innocence and experience all sung with put to music set in we had a lot of lovely musicians that joined us on that to make the recording um it's uh, yeah it's very nice and um if you're really interested, um, you could probably contact us via our Facebook page. You'll have to put in Discovery Folk Duo, because we've just discovered there's another duo calling themselves Discovery Duo. But we, we are Discovery Folk Duo, duo according to Facebook. We just We're just actually Discovery. Yes. <laughs> right, yeah. OK. Uh, so three songs ostensibly about flowers. Such a flower as may never bore But I said, I've a pretty rose tree And I passed the sweet flower o'er Then I went to my pretty rose tree To tend her by day and by night But my rose turned away in jealousy and her thorns were my only delight. Why the lily white shines? 
shall in love delight, nor a thorn, nor a threat stain her beauty bright. musical origins we're not sure we also learned this one from the glossetrad.com website the opposite end of the county yeah. this comes almost from Herefordshire yep. right up the top northwest corner Bromsborough Heath from the singing of Beatrice Hill hmm. she was actually more usually recorded playing tunes and in fact she's written some tunes that are used for Morris, Dan Morris dancing um, to this day but this is called Annie Lee. Be. Okay, and the last song 
that we have planned for you. Uh, comes from nowhere near Gloucestershire. Uh, I think this one's crossed from the other side of the Atlantic. Uh, it's called Shallow Brown. It's a shanty, uh, so this is going to be a very unshanty like performance accompanied on the dulcimer. Um, for those who know this, it's a, it's a song that people love to join in on, on the chorus, and um, you can try that uh, in your own home, uh, but you may find that the, uh, the harmonies don't go where you're expecting. And I blame Mr. Pete Coe and uh, Chris Coe, who was at that time married to him, because they, uh, they came up with this harmonisation. It was the first one I heard, and I thought, that's wonderful. And so I've stuck with it. You can do what you like in the privacy of your own home, though, can't you? Nobody will hear if it goes wrong. <laughs> Juliana Shallow or Shallow Brown Farewell Juliana Shallow or Shallow Brown Bound away for her to leave you Shallow or shallow brown Bound away to leave you Shallow or shallow Masters going to sell me Shallow or shallow brown Sell me to a Yankee Shallow or shallow brown Going to sell me for a dollar Shallow or shallow brown Great big Yankee dollar Shadow or Shadow And it's shallow in the morning, shallow, oh, shallow brown, shallow in the evening, shallow, oh, shallow brown. Found away, Juliana, shallow. Shallow brown Farewell Juliana Shadow or Shadow Brown Found a way for her to leave you Shallow or Shadow Brown Don't let the parting grieve you, shadow or shadow brown. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoy the rest of the weekend.
met the hedgehog in this crowd. When we come to an alehouse, we value not one crown. We spend our money freely and we pay before we go. Where there's no ale on the wall, where the stormy winds do blow. We spend our money freely and we pay before we go. He must not be faint-hearted, but boldly play his part. He must not be faint-hearted, in rain or frost or snow. closest we can get to the fountain. I'm not sure who those people are in the corner sat no. there having a crafty drink. Not but... taking a lot of notice to be honest are they? No they're not no. but there you go. <laughs> right who'd have thought we'd do that live eh? Who'd have thought we'd do anything live? God what a panic. Right <coughs> <coughs> so that was uh, a song from the Cotswolds, We Shepherds Are the Best of Men. So this one is a, a love song called The Love Spoon. And it was written by Dan Laws, who's in a, a duo called Brennig, and he has given us permission to, to do this one, which is very kind of him. Okay. Mary sits by her fire, from the glowing shadows time.
in the streets and a hive of activity. Peppers on a Friday night's always been good for us. Yeah, we like uh, it there. We love going down the uh, the tall ship by the docks. Uh, great pub that is. And then of course the pint of jail in the fountain. I'm really looking forward to my second pint <laughs> of jail. Um, right, this section is the fair section. It is the fair section. I have a selection of fairs for you. Hello Jerry! I do not intend to stay long in this 
place. She packed up her clothes and she followed her dear. She's gone on her travels and she couldn't care where. Summer is past, autumn moves on a pace. And pretty girl Nancy grew stout at the waist. Her clothes wouldn't fit and her shoes wouldn't lay. The winter has come, and pretty girl Nancy, she has a fine son. She kissed him, she cuddled him, these words she did say. Don't be like your father and gamble away. As I was walking to Tetbury Fair. In a smart hat and waistcoat, and on a duet, I thought of my mother and what she did say. But I still have a notion to ramble away. The very first step that I took. Tetbury Fair, our version of Ramble Away. Fair number one. Fair number one. <clears throat> fair number two. Is a different fair. Oh, it's a foreign fair. The Roseville Fair. Okay. Dressed in blue, and she looked so lovely. The gentle flower of a small town girl, and he took her by the hand, and they danced to the music with a single smile.
couldn't believe the improvement in the music, drifting tunes fill the air with his head still stuck through the middle of a banjo. We danced all night. song interfered with by Les Barker. Yes, we apologise to any banjo players in the audience. Love yeah. the banjo. Hello Tracy Dixon. <coughs> we love the banjo from a distance, Danny. <sighs> still, so on the, still on the water, no beer till our set. <laughs> Next year <laughs> we want it live and then I can start drinking at noon. <laughs> Good job you didn't start drinking at noon today, you really don't. Oh, we had some lovely fish and chips before we came on from the Queen's Head on the um, uh, I don't think they're in the Gloucester District. Oh, you can't mention sorry, them. Sorry, can't mention them, but they do do nice mushy peas. Um, and this is um, our final fair. And uh, before this was taken over by the Americans, this was known as the Three Questions. So, uh, as you're at home, um, sing loud, play along. Sheila and Chris, hello.
Coughs in that. Oh. <laughs> it's those chips. I think it's this water. Is it? Yeah. It's not the same quality as it is in Heinem. Okay. So. So um, this next one's Mary and the Soldier. And if you were live, I would be saying that uh, if Rebecca starts this too quick, <coughs> please. Uh, Clap a little bit slower so that we can slow her down, but I guess I'm on my own tonight. Hello, but Jerry, Bill's sister. We can only actually see who's here if your comments in the box as we look, so I apologise if there's lots of people here that we haven't said hello to. And, um, yeah. Good? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. You could start, I'll catch up. Yeah, I doubt that, Bill. Okay. Thank you for joining us in our bubble. And a big thank you to Danny and Gareth and Gloucester Bid and all the people. And Emily. Emily. There's so much work going on behind the scenes to make this happen. Um, I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. So thanks very much to all of them. We're, we're, we're not going to do our... Well, we don't have exactly a usual good, goodbye song, do we? But it's a bit sad, our usual one. So we're doing one that's a kind of parting song, but not such a sad one.
gently rise and now softly call. Good night and joy be. the Gloucester Folk Trail um, there's the vocals following us and um, then Luke and there's a full program of events tomorrow so thanks very much yeah thank you very much Hello. It is Bill Taylor. What's going on? Just we just finished our set. It's Dan. It's Dan. Dan. You can't do that. Oh. Talk. Talk to Rebecca. Hello. Hello. Um. Yeah. Are we still on? Are we still live now? Oh, blooming heck. Oh, okay. Okay. All right then. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Bye. Oh, hello. Didn't realise you were all still there. Um, Golden Vanity? Did you do Golden Vanity? Well, this is a bit of a... Um... <clears throat> I thought he was ringing to tell me off. He is the programmer. Joiny Inny one. So do Joiny In. Yeah, it's a it's a great tale. Um, not quite as beautiful to finish on as the last one, but it's um, a great song of um, of uh, bravery, deceit, love, drowning, death. It's proper very, folk it's, song. It's very cheery though. Quite bouncy. Once was a lofty ship that sailed upon the sea She sailed by the name of the Golden Vanity She feared she would be taken by the Turkish enemy She sailed in the lowlands, lowlands, low She sailed in the lowlands, low In the lowlands, the lowlands She sailed in the lowlands, low Oh 
sinker in the lowland flow. I will give you silver, gold I'll give to thee, and my only daughter, your bride to be, if you swim alongside of the Turkish enemy. Sink her in the lowlands, lowlands, low. Sink her in the lowlands, low. In the lowlands, the lowlands. Sink her in the lowlands, low. The boy made ready, and overboard sprang he, and he swam alongside of the Turkish enemy. With his auger sharp in the sight, he pulled holes three. Boy turned round, back again swam he. He cried to the skipper of the golden vanity, but the skipper would not heed, for his daughter he did need. He left him in the lowlands, lowlands low. He left him in the lowlands low. In the lowlands, in the lowlands, he left him in the lowlands. him in his hammock that was so large and wide and they lowered him overboard so we drifted with the tide and sank beneath the lowlands lowlands low and sank beneath the lowlands low in the lowlands in the lowlands sank beneath the lowlands low in the lowlands the lowlands he sank beneath the Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very That's, much, Danny. That is it now. And uh, I'm going to have a pint and listen to the Vogwells. Yeah. Cheers. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hello. Hiya. Hi, we're the Vogwells. I'm Martin. This is Emma. And uh, this isn't some fancy Zoom background you're seeing. This is uh, our narrowboat home uh, where we live and travel. But when we are back in Gloucester, well, over lockdown, they've opened up a brand new business in the docks, which is called Bake and Brew. And uh, they are doing amazing cake. I'm not obsessed with cake. I am totally obsessed he with cake. He is totally obsessed yeah. with cake. Yeah. And it's just, it is an awesome cake shop. The, mm. um, the lady who owns it, I went in the other day and I checked with her. She makes them all herself. Um, they also do 
fresh rolls each day and also things like sausage rolls and things like that good coffee good hot chocolate and the bonus for us is that it's dog friendly so so when it's fully open again you'll be able to take your dog in there and go and sit and have a hot drink and lovely piece of cake it's all good and the staff who work in there are really really lovely so yeah so that's bacon brew and it's in the gloucester docks area and talking of dogs we shall turn to ernie cam um to see what the pup is doing so if you hear any strange noises during this it is early definitely early or it could be a boat going by or it could be someone on the towpath it, it could be any of either three <laughs> but we're going to start off with a song called down by the riverside Knocking at your window Here comes Johnny with your packs in men Here comes Johnny asking you to walk with him And tell me quick, what do you say? No sir, no sir, I can't see Places to go and there's much to do song is uh, the next one the lyrics for this were written by a man called Barry Payne which I just love that fact alone really um, he wrote it as a um, oh by the way there is gonna be an awful lot of tuning up um, it wouldn't be folk without it would it um, so uh, Barry Payne Barry Payne so he wrote the lyrics for this as a um, he actually wrote it for Edward Elgar who wanted it as a leader and um, we came across these lyrics and thought they were just absolutely fantastic and that we could uh, do a lot with them. We tune because we care. <laughs> so this is called The Shepherd's Song. Thank you. 
shepherd sing to thee <laughs> right, from the sublime to the ridiculous, uh -huh. this is one of Martin's favourite ones. Oh, it's because it's about a naughty lawyer. <laughs> and it's one that he's been singing for years, haven't you? Oh, so before yeah. we did the duo, Martin used to sing this. He did an album on his own years ago. Um, so, um, yes, it's all about a naughty lawyer. And a young fair maid. Indeed. Mm. Hence the reason why we joined the two together now with the duo. <laughs> And some more tuning. Right. And some more tuning. Yes. So this is called The Lawyer. There was a lawyer by the gate as he rode through the city. And there he spied a lovely maid She was handsome, fair and pretty Good morning unto you, fair maid Now where are you going? Down in yonder meadow green Where my father is a mowing My father is a mowing
coffee store Intending for you her She's given a leap Right over the street For fear she would undo her Go and roll like any deer And then we'd overtake her He's whispered into all the rings What a fine lady he'd make her What a fine lady Of my dear, I fill it full of treasure. If you will grant me your sweet love, one minute or two of pleasure. But then you come to London, there a fine lady I'll make you. There you should enjoy diamond rings, gold rings and laces. Diamond rings and laces. Right, the next one. As some of you are probably aware, shanties are having a revival due to some Quite certain social media platform. <laughs> so uh, we've been singing and messing up shanties for years, though. Yeah. So, uh, so we thought we'd do a joining in one. So get your tankards at home or wherever, whatever you're drinking. You could be having a cup of tea. Raise it and sing along. So there's a callback yep. song. So the, f the way you sing a line, you're going to sing, oh, yes, oh. We sing another line and you're going to sing a hundred years ago. So, oh yes, oh, a hundred years ago. That's it. Symbols. And we'll see if we can... See if we can remember it. Here we go. Oh, a hundred years is a very long time. Oh, Where you are, really, but uh, it's definitely time to join in. So here we go. One, two, three. 
Oh, a hundred years is a very long time. Oh, yes, oh, oh, a hundred years is a very long time. Hundred years ago, oh, a hundred years is a very long time. Oh, yes, oh, a hundred years is a very long time. A hundred years ago. Thanks for joining in. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Next one. You can tell where the set list is, can't you? Just, We're staying on the sea there. theme now. So this one, we I think this was one of the first songs that we ever performed together, I think. Ooh. It was probably in our first set list of the Bogwells many moons ago. Um, it's called The Bay of Biscay. <laughs> one so we've gone from the beginning of our <laughs> Bogwell's duo to the end this is the most recent one that we've been singing so we've only I think we only got to do one gig with it in the end um, because of the pandemic so um, this one Martin set with me with a task oh it's not even last year it was the year before I think to um, to find some lyrics 
that were relatable to the canals because obviously since moved on to the boat so I set to task went on the internet good old internet and found these lyrics so they were from what were the website oh, was waterways, waterways, waterways songs waterways songs that was it um, so it's called The Roving Navi Man um, and unfortunately there, there aren't that many songs that would have been recorded down mainly because obviously the boating families that run the um, the work boat they were on the move all the time so it wouldn't have been recorded down so this is one of the few that would have been written down so um, so well, this yeah one, this one, I think this one was found in 1905 yeah 1905 by um, Cecil Sharp from someone in Devon Indeed. They're still work boats now and we use them occasionally when we're off around the networks to buy coal and gas from them. They are fantastic. They do a great job still. They work in all weathers and they're big boats as well that they move around. Oh, yeah. Really, really big boats. So but yeah, they're good for they're good for us. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. Um, we have been, this is a shameless plug now, we have been doing a few songs on YouTube. So we've got a YouTube channel. Um, is it under the Bogwells? No, it's under, <laughs> under me, Martin Bogwell. Yes. Um, we've also got a Facebook page, which is under the Bogwells. Um, the YouTube channel, we've been just doing a few numbers every now and then to keep people happy during lockdown. 
and to keep ourselves sane, really. Um, well, sane-ish. So, yeah. <laughs> Who can say they've fully come out of this sane? Um, thank you to everyone who's been organising the folk trail um, oh, and Gloucester yeah. Bid. Um, you're doing a fab job. Um, it's great that there's, you know, something being put out there. So um, enjoy the rest of the festival. Um, I know we're going to. Um, we're looking forward to some sessions and things. So, um, yeah, it's all good. So it's nice to have some music back in our lives. Um, this last one is called Worcester City. So it's a place that we all stop at on the, on the way up the river. Worcester's a great city another to hang out in. For, another place for good cake. cake. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. so... Thank you again for listening. We are the Vogwells. See you again. I've just realised what's different. I'm in the wrong tuning. Great, there we go. <laughs> That's your own fault for having so that, many different that, tunings. It, well, it, you know, if I'd allowed to have two, three guitars on board, then that would be it. But <laughs> there's um, not room. There's just not. I gradually realised that we've moved on to a bigger boat. We used to live on a 39 foot, and this one's now 57. So it's great because we've got a lot more space. But Martin has been gradually oh, gaining yeah. more and more instruments to places they had squirrelled away. So they they keep appearing on the yeah. boat. So yeah. Now this feels like a proper gig because I'm always messing this up some way. So. <laughs> Oh. oh dear. Right, definitely Worcester City this time. Yep. <laughs> Indeed.
Perfect. Hello, everybody. My name is Luke Thurbrick of the Solid Gone Skiffle Invasion. Um, and I am going to jam a few tunes for you. I have to be quiet though because of the news. <laughs> it isn't going to happen. I've, I've been, uh, well, I've been involved in one of the, the guitar um, sessions earlier on, Martin. That was Ace. And I've been watching the action, it's all cool. Alright, this is a new one, okay? As in, I've just finished writing it. Um, right, it's so learning at the moment, but I think that's a bit of a cop out for a title. So I'm going to change. But anyway, here you go. That's it, so that's you lie. Learn to walk away, at least you say. I learn to fall into line, learn to feel yourself alive. I learn to take off, learn to fly, learn to reach out and touch the sky. I learn what happens when you get too high, learn to feel yourself alive. I learned to 
to tell that there's a few lines in there that aren't quite learned, I guess. Oh. I wish I could look badass with a beer, but honey and lime can get away from me. Right. <clears throat> this one's called Angie. I think Danny gave a shout out for this. So yeah, Angie's um, a well-known folk song written by David Graham, um, which I yeah, think guitarist did their own version. And Danny um, messed up his version earlier on. Uh, so I'm here to put it right, okay. <laughs> I need 
during one of the, the small little breaks between lockdowns, we went to the um, back to university, um, uh, just outside London, and recorded a few songs, of which I think different band members got the ending of that wrong, different ones each take. We just gone with one. I think Danny's the one we've gone for is one that Danny's gone wrong with, and uh, I'm not much into my music theory, but I think Danny's okay with it now because apparently it makes a D sus I don't know, a suspended chord or something. <laughs> um, right. <clears throat> this next song is called The Healing Crop. Um, so this is out. If you want to buy this, you can find it at LukeFerbert.com on the shop or music section. Um, Proceeds go to the NHS or Leckhampton Hospice. Um, we're kind of dividing that out. Um, and this is for the late great Damon T, who we used to play with regularly around Gloucester. And um, would no doubt be playing this festival um, had he been, been alive. It's called the Human Crowd. My name is song Say it's wondering so Carry me, carry me home Calling on that old healing crow Right, so much of my material kind of sits around folk, I guess, blues, and just weird shit that I've stuck together, essentially, I guess. Um, so this next one, I'm, I'm trying to justify all the songs that I put in. I think that last one sounded a bit folky as to Kanji in because Danny was going on about it. The new one is just new, um, so that didn't need much justification. And this one, I'm justifying it as it sounds like a Russian folk song is what I'm thinking, okay. Um, this is called A Man in the Attic. It's another one that's going to be out on video soon, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, this is my Russian folk tune, I'm saying. <laughs> mm 
me go When he gets bored He reels me in Through the seat of bullets But they saw Oh, he says that's a family Oh, won't you send him a And just you remember how we spoke oh, when I'm watching over the bum ba 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 This one's about boats. based off of a well-known Christmas song, which, um, if you guess it, I'll give you a cuddle or something, my mum allowed to. 
Oh, that's meant to be talking about business, isn't it? Right, as in... So, we, we sponsored by Gloucester Businesses or something like that. Anyway, we meant to have a, a chat about a Gloucester, Gloucester Business, and I was going to just pledge myself shamelessly, but I thought I'd do the right thing. Um, possibly slightly out of laziness, I was going to pledge Mr. Danny Hammond himself, who I'm going to rob some guitar lessons off. Is it, can you steal guitar lessons? Is that a thing? I'm going to um, do my best to steal guitar lessons if that is a possibility from him after watching this area. Um, anyway, yeah, but basically the match stick factory and I'm sure when COVID allows I'm going to have some good old guitar lessons from him and you should do too. Anyway, this one I um, it's meant to be nobody's fault but mine which is no spiritual song <coughs> but it's deviated a fair bit from that and it's done in the um, Ed Riptoff, Bert Young, and David Graham and that sort of um, freaky deaky folk sort of sound um, and yeah I, I wrote it a while ago and I, haven't, I hardly ever do it because it's not so we play at gigs very often. Again, watching Danny at Furia. Yeah. You know, think, yeah, I'll give it a go. Anyway, this is nobody's fault but mine. Instrumental. <laughs> suitably mellow now for a mellow song. Um, right, am I doing?
Take me to the riverside and wash my sins away. Take me to the riverside and wash my sins away. Take me to my happy place and maybe I can stay. Take me to the riverside and wash my sins away. Let go of that heavy load and watch it disappear. Let go of that heavy load and watch it disappear. Hold on to my memories and make me draw me near. Let go of that heavy load and watch me disappear. So if anyone's anyway, been on our Facebook page, um, Luke Ferber from Solid Gone Skip and Invasion, um, you'll see that we got a new video out done by the fantastic Mike Gardner, his daughter Holly Gardner, and Jordan something. <coughs> this song for Rosie, she's an old sort of black American work song. Thank you. 
reach her. I, I can't free. I can't free, Lord. I can't free. Um, where we rock the bollocks of it. <coughs> if I don't drum, it's harmonic solo after that. It's cool. Um. <laughs> watching a film called The Rabbit Proof Fence about the rehoming of Aboriginal children in Australia, obviously. Um, <coughs> um, I don't know, mid, mid 20th century. Reaching. Yeah, and after this, I will bid you adieu. Adieu? Adieu? adieu. Oh, I see the deal with her. 
And that's a stolen generation. Um, thank you for listening. Oh, who is this? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hammond. Yes, this is Luke Burbrick. Hang, hang a sec, I get you on loudspeaker. Hello, Mr. Hammond. My beat, right, right, yeah. You're telling me that. <laughs> it's, it's a G string, actually. It, it, was, it was lovely. <laughs> and we don't want you to stop. We can't use my mother. Can you do that? Maybe, maybe. Will you teach me some of the, the wizardry you were doing on the guitar earlier on? Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'
Wicked, I'm going to hold you to that now. Yeah, what do you want then, Danny? Just one more tune. Just one more tune. Right, I've got one more tune for you. Okay, thank you. Say, say thanks to the team for me. Well, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> right, as you heard, um, you, you guys have put in my arm? Then I don't know. I'm going to do one more tune. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, yeah, like I said, at the moment, if, if you want to get some money to charity, um, buy the, the Healing Crow at leapfrowit.com. Um, if you want to have a look at the new Rocked Up Rosie video, again, you can get to it from leapfrowit.com or you can find it on Facebook or on YouTube if you look for Luke Furbrick and the Sully Bond Skiffle Invasion. Um, and you may see us around the Gloucester City Centre and having a bit of a busk occasionally, particularly Sundays. Uh, so if you ever fancy a, a, a walk out to the season towns of my voice, <laughs> then, then yeah, pop by, give us some money. Anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your Saturday night. Um, and what am I playing? What's the most folky are these? Uh... I'm going to do this one. In fact, it. This one is aptly called No More. Based on an old <coughs> spiritual song. No more Am I No more, my Lord. I know I never turn back. No more. Oh, I Bye. <laughs>
it's a lovely loop for a bit. Thanks for listening and enjoy tomorrow, I guess. Thanks a lot, goodbye. Hello, I hope you've all been enjoying the folk trail online. We've got another day of stuff for you tomorrow, all sorts of things. Music um, starting at midday tomorrow. We've got a Kaylee session at 3 p.m. Hello, I hope you've all been enjoying We've the also folk got trail uh, more music We've after that. Day and I'm going to have to mute tomorrow. All this sorts in the background. Music, um, there we go. <laughs> A big thank you to all of our performers this evening. It's been a real pleasure to see so many people come together and support live music. The audience as well. You know, without you, you know, what would this be? A big shout out to all of the businesses that everybody's mentioned. There's too many for me to go over now, but they're all good stuff. Really good things happening on Gloucester High Street. And I'm so glad to be here and be a part of it all. I'm hoping that you've enjoyed the evening and we'll see you tomorrow. There's a session at 7.30 to end things uh, tomorrow evening, and it's interactive, so you can all take a part, join uh, via Zoom. There's a registration link on the website and the Facebook. Hope to see you all tomorrow, and I hope you've had a good day today. All the best from the Folk Trial team. Bye. <laughs>